You see, I've been taught that a mind is a terrible thing to waste. You gotta get that knowledge in. I've learned that a healthy mindset is an incredible thing to embrace. You gotta think positive. I've known that mind games aren't a respectable thing to play. Please don't bring that drama in. But we rarely talk about the state of mind when it comes to the mind state. Instead, we keep it bottled in. We keep it in the deepest depths of our souls where we store the secrets. We lock and key it, pretend that we don't feel it and hope that others don't see it because it makes us feel ashamed. So we dare not speak about the anxiety that quietly takes away our confidence. Like a thief in the night, it'll steal the peace in your life. It'll download fear into your consciousness. So we don't bother anyone with the depression resting so heavy on our hearts and our minds. How it rots from inside causes dark thoughts to arise. The danger of how it can cost us our lives. We won't consider the PTSD that keeps us from being free. It's a hostage situation. The past trauma that follows us like karma, closing in, it's suffocating. The obsessive or compulsive or eating disorders. The postpartum, the paranoia or being bipolar. The emotional toll, the seemingly irrevocable hold. The stigma of being crazy, unstable and having no emotional control. See, this discomfort that brings us hell makes us uncomfortable with ourselves. So how are we supposed to love ourselves when there's so much we dislike or even hate? I mean, how can I love the parts of me that consciously feel like weight? But I've learned about a perfect love available for an imperfect person like myself from my Heavenly Father. See, no matter how much anxiety I feel or depression I experience, He'll never rescind His offer. See, loving yourself isn't about being perfect without issues or problems. It's about loving yourself despite feeling low as though you're at the bottom. Loving yourself despite any disorder that may make you feel boxed in. Loving yourself despite when what's happening up here is unclear and you feel like you have no options. Loving yourself, your whole self, including your beautiful mind, despite when it makes you feel worthless because you are perfectly imperfect, but you are not without purpose.